It's Kevin Garcia, a.k.a. the Puerto Rican Kid KG. This is Fight Hype, and we've got Eddie Hearn. Eddie, appreciate your time as always. And, you know, we'll get right into it because there's a lot of news. Um, Connor Ben versus Tank Davis. It was reportedly turned down by Tank. Saw some news about maybe $25 million being an offer, potentially Tank, that he didn't even entertain. Can you speak to any of that? No, it definitely wasn't that much money. I mean, it was a base offer. I've already said it was eight figures. But with pay-per-view bonuses, gate upside, could have, could have made $25 million if the fight is big, which I believe it is, but, you know, he didn't really want to entertain the conversations. No problem with it. Not, you know, not, you know, he's scared to fight Conor Ben. Of course he's not. Just obviously has other plans. And if he doesn't want to make 15, 20 million dollars to fight Conor Ben, there's not a lot we can do. So we move on and, you know, a big name will be next. You've seen Danny Garcia call him out. We love the Maros Barros fight. You know, who knows whether Chris Eubank Jr. wakes up, Kel Brook, Liam Smith. Um, you've seen a lot of fights called him out and uh, in in May, I believe, the latest early June, you'll see a massive fight for Conor Ben. Yeah, so you're right. There's been a lot of stuff coming out after that, like him versus Danny Garcia. Mm. But really quick with Tank, how realistic was that fight anyway based on the weight difference? Massive. What, why not? I mean, you know, Tank's already boxed at, what, 141, 142? Yeah. Like if, if By the way, Tank's a, a favourite, big favourite against Conor Ben. So I quite like Conor having an extra, what might be four or five pounds, because it's a very dangerous fight. But Tank called out Conor Ben on social. It wasn't that, you know, and we went back and made him a big offer, but he didn't want to entertain the fight. Maybe he doesn't want to fight 147.